Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. Today I've got an introduction. I guess it's like an, in, an unboxing when I've already opened it. But anyway, this arrived. And this is one of those tools that I saw online at Amazon, and where Amazon kind of suggested it. And I thought, that's exactly what I want. And I thought about it, and thought about it. And I could find pretty much nothing online about it, about the brand and about this particular model. This is the C-Jet Tool Professional Angle Type Electrician Scissors. And if you look at this guy, uh, it's an angled scissors. It's got the locking mechanism up here. It's got a cable cut out here. It's standard scissors, serrated. Um, it's got crimping capabilities here. It's spring-loaded. And it's got stripping capabilities here and a little sheath. Um, and it is Japanese stainless steel made in Taiwan. Looks like quality. They make a bunch of different types of scissors. And this was actually the one that caught my eye uh, first with this tool company. And I thought, well, that looks neat, but I guess it, maybe it's for cutting carpet. I, in fact, I take out carpet. I don't put it in. Um, but this guy here, I thought, wait a minute, that looks super handy. Now, I do have a handful of other electrician scissors. Here's some Milwaukee's and a couple of Kleins, and I'm often using something larger, but this looked great. So let's crack it open and see what we've got here. This is a um, just a standard nylon belt sheath. I guess you could wear it. It's, I don't know, can you, it's definitely a, looks like a left hand draw. That's interesting. Will fit. I guess it does fit with the bolt there. So I could use it as a right hand draw too. This would be interesting, like a like something you draw out of a holster on your right hand side. Um, but anyway, here it is. Pretty blue color. This is a harder plastic, and then it's got a rubber over mold. Um, branding there on the side. CJ, but it's C Jet Tool. And I, you know, there is another company called Jet that makes super high performance like wood shop tools. I've used those and those are amazing, but this isn't the same company as far as I can tell or anything to do with it. Lanyard tool. Um, fits well in the hand. It's designed to have, as far as I can tell, the pinky hanging out off to the side. Strong spring right there. Cut up a couple of things and see. So here's some paper. Nice and smooth. Um, this also has serrations if you look really close. So I'm feeling it. Wow, that is amazingly sharp. It's got the serrations. Let's try this side and see. Not quite shaving sharp, but pretty dang sharp. I can really feel that edge. The machining, the alignment, it looks great. Uh, I think I gave 40 bucks for these guys on Amazon. Let's try cardboard. Now, it's interesting because I'm just cutting, I'm, this is actually inside the cutting arena there, but if I move out or I make a complete cut. It's working really well. Interesting. So if I how's that compare to like Mil these Milwaukee's here? Definitely better than those. These are my favorites. Nice. Compare it to these old little Kleins here. These always hurt uh, every time I use them. Um, when I use this guy here, uh, not as bad. Still old school, um, but 
Nice. What about cutting wire? It's got a couple of wire cutters. I mean, I can snip it here. Can obviously use the scissors. I've got this cutting, cutting part right there. No problem. Zips right through this, this wire. No problem. There's my cuts there. What about uh, this stuff? If I snip that off, easy, easy peasy. A little tougher out there, but this is. Look at that. Watch. Nice. Simple, very strong, still razor sharp. Let's try the strippers. Now this is the one thing I wondered about because it's, your palm is right here, but maybe that's, that's good. You know, if I snap it down and then uh, pull it out, look at that, right there. Snip it off, try it again. Strips well. Feels good in the hand. Very nice. I can really grab it tight if I need to. Um, but otherwise, I can use it with dexterity. Snap it right back down in my holster. Carry it around if I want. Um, solid lockup. Wow. That barely moves. Almost doesn't move, which is unusual. A lot of these have play. I noticed on my Knipex and stuff, it's usually some play. Pretty color, good design, excellent steel. Um, I assume this is a wraparound. I could get it. Let me grab a magnet. Let's see if I can tell here. Ah, it's stainless steel. I'm not sure it's going to stick through this very well. Nope. I assume it's got some pretty good coverage in here. Um, so a few more details here, uh, wire stripper, it's got the crimpers, standard crimpers, just looking at them, should work fine, um, English, there it is, uh, let's see, TPR part of handles, anti-slip ridges, Ergonomics, 0.3 millimeter to 6 millimeter wire. So I think we've got everything taken care of here. Looks good. I don't know how the warranty works on this, um, but uh, hopefully I'll never have to use it. And this particular thing, there's a series of scissors. They have a whole website full of their tools, kind of specialty tools. Um, not giving them away. It's not one of those kind of companies that's trying to underprice everybody else. You can see some tool mark up at the top. Anyway, this is just amazing. I, I like them. I'm impressed. So with that, Doc out.